Hello everyone, how are you? In this video, we are going to see how we can implement localization and translation feature in Flutter application. In our previous video, we have seen how to create a simple project in Flutter, kind of hello world project, and we have done it. Now we are going to add localization L10N feature to the Flutter application. The first step First step is to add dependencies. Dependencies include Flutter SDK localization, which we are going to add now. That is the first step. It has to be added under dependencies section, Flutter underscore localization. It has to be equal with Flutter. The indentation of the code is very, very important. Otherwise, it will not work. So it has to be parallel to Flutter SDK. Similarly, Flutter localization SDK colon Flutter. That should be the first step. The next step is to add the delegates in the main.dot file. What are delegates? Delegates are the items which are taking care of translation basically. So by default, we have to add global delegates, few global delegates to the main.dot file uh, under localization delegates attribute. This has to be array. So we have to add three localization delegate first, global, uh, global material, global widget localization delegate, global cupertino localization delegate. These three has to be added first. Once we have done our localization implementation, we will add our localization here also in this array. Now we have added it is reloading and throwing error because we have not added any imports. So along with localization delegates, we have to add supported locales also. So how many language you need the, that many locales you have to add in the supported locales array along with localization delegates in the main dot dot file. Okay, that is the next step. So the localization delegates and supported locales has to be added in the main dot dot file. So the next step is to add intl dependency in the pubspec.yml file along with generate true flag. So we will see how to add that shortly. So this has to be added in the pubspec.yml file so the intl dependency has to be added under dependencies section and the generate true has to be added under dev iphone dependencies section of the pubspec.yml file So the next step is to create l10n.yml file. So that is the localization file where we will mention where is our translated translation files exist and what is the directory it has to be looked up etc. So this file you have to create under lib folder parallel to main dot dot 
so under lib folder you create l 10 n it is l in lower case so now i'm creating the file l 10 n dot ml so here we'll mention what is the translation directory and what is the template file which is a default file and where the localizations created output directory where it has to be created as part of the process so now as we have created uh, mentioned in the arb directory under lib we are going to create l10n directory this is where we are going to place app underscore en dot arb file arbitrary file where we'll have our translations for each key it is a json file it will have key value pair currently we'll have only one key and value which is in english translation my shops app title my shops so once this is done the next step is to add the custom language file which anyway we have done it already app underscore en dot erb file we have created right we have created and we have added our app title translation there so it's already done the step 5 similarly app underscore en dot erb file you can also create any number of file with a similar format for your languages for example spanish german chinese etc the step six is add translate file generation so the file translation file app localization dot drt drt file has to be generated that is the next step how to do we have to execute one command which is flutter gen hyphen l10n you can go to terminal in android studio or you can also execute from command prompt gen hyphen l10n flutter gen hyphen l10n that is the command so you can enter it if you don't see any error then we are okay it's generated I am copying this for, uh, for further reference. So I am going to hit enter. So it has successfully run, nothing reported. It means that translation has been generated successfully. So where it is generated, you have to go to project directory dot dot underscore tool directory or folder under that flutter gen gen uh, underscore l10n these two translations file has been created there are two files app localization dot dot app localization underscore en dot drt because we have only one translation file currently under this directory if you have multiple languages that's, that many files will be generated now we are going to move it move on to next step which is to add the app localization delegate we have already added three delegates in main dot dot file now since we have done our steps for localization the app localization has to be added as well then only it will pick our translations so where it has to be added it has to be added in the main dot dot file under localization delegates so in this process you have encountered you are seeing multiple errors in the android studio since uh, the emulator is running already it's trying to hot reload so we are in the middle of implementing this feature so ignore the error go on at the end we'll solve all these problems in the android studio So now we have added the app localization 
and the app is also working but now you don't see any translated content there because you have not used the translated content so far so the next step is to use translated content which is app title app title in the app app underscore en dot arb file we have app title which is uh, having value my shops so that particular translation we are going to use in our application where i'm going to use is i'm going to use in the title of the application instead of having flutter demo uh, app something we are going to use this translated text how to do that shortly we are going to see so i will go to main dot dot so we have home page we pass the title flutter demo home page i'm going to delete it instead i'm going to use the translated title in the title i go to the home page state in this title text i'm going to pass the translated text how to do that you have to use app localizations class so app localizations dot off of context if you put dot it will list all the available keys so app title is our key now we have included it i'm fixing some errors now if you see the hot reload is throwing error because it is not able to find the translation because we have generated the translation but the application is running so we are we are stopping it and restarting it it has to refresh it right reload it so i am doing that let's see whether it is working or not we'll wait for the installation to complete the application is reloading now in the emulator now it is reloading i hope it is done we are curious we'll see the translated message has come and it is also working so the title has the translation text now if we change the translated text and try to see whether it is reflecting or not i'm going i'm changing the my shops to shopping but it doesn't reload the value and i'm stopping and starting no still it is not because it is restarted still it is not uh, showing the new value which is shopping i am stopping and installing again it will not load the title so this, there is a problem because we have so far not run the flutter clean and uh, the old value which is generated in the flutter localization app localization is still referred either you can run flutter i ten l ten n instead i am going to run flutter clean but uh, please note i have not run flutter gen iphone l ten n we'll see what is happening it is installing the app so it is throwing the error that uh, the app localizations are not you know found so for that we have to do what we have to do we have to run flutter gen iphone l 10 n because once you run the flutter clean it cleans it cleaned everything so including the flutter gen folder so you have to run it again in order to create the app localization but this should not this should not be the case it has to be automatically generated when you run pubkit but we will fix this particular problem it's a small bug only so when you clean and you if you don't see or if you get this error you just run the flutter gen iphone l10n command and run the application it will run 
anyway we will fix this particular error in the next video the next video would be a little interesting because we are going to see how to switch between different languages that is the next video session in the flutter so now i have run the flutter command gen iphon l 10 n now i am checking whether the new value shopping is reflected or not as i mentioned when we cleaned it and it is cleaning all the generated files also this particular thing will fix in the next session meanwhile it is installing the app to the emulator okay it is just pushing the app.apk file from the build folder it is getting installed now we are curious whether the new translation text is coming in the title yeah the shopping is the new text which we have changed so it is reflected so this summary of the steps this particular text file I will put shared in the description for your reference so the next session would be how to switch between different languages and loading the different language file which we have created now in this video so that is the next step which is more practical so we should be able to change the language right yeah so if you like the video please like comment share and importantly Please subscribe to our channel i will post technical videos on flutter and other topics on my free time this is my hobby so please uh, bear with me for any mistakes you can also point out in the comment i can correct it thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and share thank you